Hello and welcome to episode 73 of my Working With Todoist series. In this episode, I just want to show you, and this really will be a quick episode, uh, what the latest updates in Mac OS Sierra actually are. And one other thing that I wanted to show you, and something that you should really just keep an eye on, uh, because it doesn't show you an obvious way. And this is just a small minor update that from time to time Evernote does. Sorry, I said Evernote. I mean Todoist does. And if you look up here in your top right hand corner, you will see the gear icon has a little red dot or label on it. If you click on the icon, you'll go down to the bottom, you'll see new version available 819. I currently have version 818 and we have version 819. Now, I often miss this and I have no idea how big the update is. Uh, I'm presuming it's only a small update because I usually get the bigger updates coming through the Mac App Store. But anyway, whenever you see this red label, this red button, I strongly recommend that you just quickly go into your gear icon and you will be able to see the uh, new version available. It's never usually a bigger update, but you can just click on it. It just resets itself or if you like reloads. And in this case, it's taking a little while, but there we go. We've reloaded. The little red icon has gone and that's done. So I just wanted to show you that because it's not really an episode in itself, but just keep an eye on that. That will always show, also show on the website. If you're using the web version of Todoist, I've noticed it does show up on that too. Okay, what I want to do now is just show you the updates in, IO, uh, in iOS, in OS uh, Sierra. And really there is only one update and that is in the um, notifications window or, uh, of Todoist. And essentially all they've done is they've changed the background color of the Todoist um, list in, in your notifications. Now, again, like in iOS, I really actually quite like this because what we can now see is I can see my labels in a lot clearer way here. Now, uh, you'll notice that uh, these things appear to be a little bit out of order. That is simply because uh, on a Saturday, I'm recording this on a Sunday, and you, sometimes on a Saturday, I'm in a little bit of a lazy mood, and I do tend to hang out things, I drop things over for the next day. Also, because I've never covered this area before, you can actually drop off, uh, you can tick off tasks in here. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't done any of these tasks. Um, if you click on see more tasks, this will just open up to do it. So it'll just open up to do it straight away. Um, however, if you um, click on add a task, it brings up the quick entry window or the quick entry box that you can add in new tasks. So there you go. I just wanted to quickly show you that. Um, there, there isn't really any big updates in Todoist uh, in uh, uh, Mac OS Sierra. But anyway, for those of you who are curious and didn't have time to check it out, there you go. That's really the biggest change in. There's some minor under the HUD updates as well. Todoist is probably working a little bit faster and a few of the bugs, if there are, if I've never really found any bugs, may have been ironed out. But apart from that, it's a really good solid application on Mac OS Sierra. So if you are worried about updating, now you know. It's safe, you can update. Okay, thanks again for watching this episode, episode 73. I wish you all a very, very productive week. And please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to our Productivity in Tech Facebook page where you can discuss all sorts of things related to productivity, email and other applications other than Todoist and Evernote and many, many others. So there you go. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week and talk to you again soon.